great. You but know, but the, see, when you're getting a pee replaced and you think you know and then you're way back, but it's years later you're trying absolutely. to recall how you play a tune absolutely. and the recording yeah. is extremely The recording is absolutely critical. You, yeah, can, you can't go with a boot really. No, absolutely not. No, no. Uh, do you use the recordings yes. when you're teaching? Yes, absolutely. I, I, I'm really big on that, trying to get... I've, I've done it, I've had so many examples, like, like every day almost, when you're, when you're teaching a kid a tune, or when they're, they, a kid might come in with a chant and start to play a tune, whatever yeah. it is, and they're maybe, you know, too fast, too slow, whatever, and the minute you join in, they just change and they, they play along with you. Yes. So I record everything and try and get them to do it at home, because uh -huh. they we keep them, you know, it just... Aye. And apart from anything else, they need to know how a tune goes. Aye. If they're, you know, what's the point of giving out a bit of music? If they don't know how the tune goes, so this right. is how it goes. You listen need, to this. You, you got a listen. sound file, really. Ah, you need. The, so, uh, so yeah, we. Uh, uh, I'm always at them. Always so at you, them. Do you too. use the, the tapes up here, the cord on? Well, I thought a CD there. was really modern and ah. this stuff. You know, we've got a machine there that, that records <laughs> on the CD. I thought that was the thing, but no, ah. they don't have CD players now. No. It's so anyway, so the, the so we tried different things, but what we've got now is uh, one of the girls in the band just videos on her phone, uh -huh. and I play it and record it. And she, they've got a Facebook group thing, Aye. and they can all go on there and hear it. So whatever I've never seen it, I don't know what it is. But Aye, but whatever it is, as long as it works and they've the got a recording, the recorders, phones, no, that's been yeah, quite should. good recording. So oh, it's perfect. Aye, good enough for uh, listening perfect to. Perfect for learning. learning from, and right. Absolutely. Aye, because I mean, I used to have stuff on tape, and you had to wind it back, okay. and then you missed the bit. And, yeah. No. You know, all that stuff that so carry on. So. Murder. Murder, aye. Uh, yeah. Now, Ronnie, what the peers did he teach you in Oh, the pile of tunes. It was, it was tune, it was, well, back then it would be for the silver medal and then the gold medal, whatever the set tunes were. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We just went over them with him every year. When did you get the silver medal? 87. Okay. Yeah, remember the tune? year ago. Corinations. Because the wee fella, he, the young fella, he won it with Cory Nessens as well. Aye, your and boy is I, called Angus. Angus John. Angus John. Aye. And the two of you can round the games are now and Aye, you've got Angus McCall, Angus, McCong, got Angus. Aye. <laughs> John McCall. Aye, so it's a good try. So you'll eventually get the stage run. Uh, Nori Gillis used to complain that day. Uh, uh, that talk, talk about Alistair, that's not a Gillis's ah. boy, and then uh, later on it'll die Alistair. Ah, that's yeah. uh, that's, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, ah, that's it. Aye, you know, ah, so. that's right. Aye, oh, aye, that's it. But um, Angus is doing very well. Ah, he's doing all right, aye. Aye. Have and, you teached him? Aye, mm -hmm. yep, aye. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They pick up now as well. Aye, well that's the thing, yeah. Um, and that's the thing with myself, there was no there was no set lessons, there was no, you didn't aye. go to learn the pipes, it was just a thing that happened, aye, you aye. know, every night there would be a, something, you know. So. Tell me, did uh, uh, Ronnie teach you how to set up your instrument, Ronnie Laurie? Aye, well he was always working at it, aye. Aye, because uh, another guy for drones. Oh, aye, this, you know. yes, absolutely. Aye. Aye. <coughs> They had tons of air pouring through drones and gigantic uh, sheepskin bags and could have birthed it. Oh, the Queen Mary, I, you know. I know, he had all kinds of. Ah, he was never done working in. He used to take the chanters from us in Glasgow Police mm -hmm. Band in 67, and mm -hmm. uh, you played, it come off the field, and he uh, took all the chanters and reads from you, and yeah. then. You got to buy the next practice. He don't want to know the reads and all the rest. Of it. Uh -huh. but it's, uh, great attention to detail at that time. Yes, you know, aye. And yeah. it certainly paid off. It mm -hmm. had a very good tone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, no doubt we'd pass on somehow to what a chanter read. Aye, it? oh, aye. Yeah, definitely. Aye. Uh, Oh, I was what about your ear? How did you acquire your ear for the pitch and use? Because you're quite, that's well, not a unique pitch. It's, everybody's got a unique pitch. And ah, yeah. That, but uh, did that just come over the years? I think so. I really don't know. I wouldn't even... It's quite I, bright, I, I, you know. I, 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 don't, I don't know, really. I, I don't know. Just, uh, you're just kind of always trying to... You always think it's not good enough. You're always I, trying to look for better and steadier I, and... But you uh, prefer a Gore-Tex bag, don't you? Been using the Gore-Tex for, I don't know, 25 years or more now. Aye. Uh, 
Aye, I, I, I can work it. Any particular reason for well, that? Well, it was, I was finding that it was keeping the pipes drier, believe it or not. Mm-hmm. Gore, the Gore-Tex with the tube kind of yeah. works for me. I know how to kind of work it, mm-hmm. how long to play it for and how long I can get before it gets soaked. Mm-hmm. But I went back when we did the Spirit of Scotland last summer, mm-hmm. 2016. I we did it. I had to get a sheepskin back on. So I've been playing it. I played it with the Spirit, and I've been playing it in the school band as well. Aye. And I am enjoying it. You know. Aye. I'm, I mean, it's twenty. It's at least twenty-five years, maybe more, since I played one. No. Do you do you find that the do you find that the, the sound is different from using Gore-Tex? Aye, I'm finding a bit of a difference. Well, yeah, how would you aye. describe a difference? A. Well, definitely the top hand's full and stable. Uh-huh. I'm definitely finding a difference with that, especially we've put the one of the bands, one of the school bands, we put them onto sheepskin to uh-huh. try it. Uh-huh. And I think there's a definite difference, you know. Is top hands a, are more stable and steady. Probably and, volume in the top uh, hand? Probably louder as well, yeah. There probably uh-huh. is more sound, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I would, I, I, would, I, I would have said, no, it's just as good with the Gore-Tex up until last year, but I would definitely see a difference. Some folk say that the Gore-Tex sound is not as forgiving mm-hmm. as a sheepskin bag sound, you know, in uh, terms of blowing uh, and control. Yeah, well definitely, I think it definitely takes more control to to, to uh, get the sound. It's like a sweet drop of pressure, uh, yeah, it's def- going to show through the does, Gore-Tex. Yeah, it does, uh, it does But of course, if, if you have a radical enough uh, change in the sheepskin bag, you've got to keep the uh, the same, on. yeah, aye, uh, oh, uh, yeah, it's all it's if you have any theories about the blowing, how do you teach kids to control the instrument? Well, that's a good question. I don't know. We're always working at that, you know, the blowing. I find the main thing to get people blowing steady is just playing. Just mm-hmm. play more. Don't you know? Don't be that. Not one for analysing and thinking things too much. Just play. Uh-huh. That's what I found with the kids. When we get a, the best sound we get, or when we're working on the sound to try and make it better, it's just playing more. And it just uh-huh. it gets better just through the kids being stronger and blown steady. Do you advise so, anything about the elbow? No, just keeping it on tight all the time. Uh-huh. Just keep your elbow tight and don't be lifting it. You see some folk, you have to lift it off in between uh-huh. breaths. So uh-huh. just at them to hold it tight and, uh, and you know, all the just time. To hold it on all the time. Really, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's a hard well, one to teach though. Oh, I know. Mm. As you say, it all comes with experience. Aye, aye, and just do it. And what about tuning drones, say, do you have any uh, method of teaching drones, say, uh, tuning? What I try and do teaching uh, for teaching drones is just when they strike up the pipes, if they need to stop the middle drone, and then just tune the bass to the outside one. Mm-hmm. So then right away, within a few seconds, you've got two drones that are sort of in tune with each other, and then I just tell them to try the low A mm-hmm. and then sometimes you know it's not hard to tell if it's flat or sharp I'm just telling if it doesn't sound right we need to do something so just either up or down with the outside one and, see who and then just match, worse, then. Uh, match the bass and try it again and if it's getting better there mm-hmm. you are you know uh-huh. and if not but it's, it's a hard thing to teach as well the tuning. Well uh, have you ever a uh, you switch off the middle drone yourself or do you just stay between three drones? I do three when I'm in the in my, in my supposedly good pipes, you know, I, can, ah, I just ah. usually tune the three. Ah, occasionally, if it's a bad pipe and a new read, do you have ah, to go to a wee bit? I don't know, I don't know. Just with these pipes, I find it easier just doing the three yeah. rather than the. I prefer you know, the three myself. Yeah, uh huh. John yeah. Fadgen taught me that. Aye, ah, yeah, uh huh. Uh, it's less stopping than starting. And, uh, you start, 